A jalapeno glaze company called Big Wicks was started by a Texas Tech student, but now it is facing a costly lawsuit. KCBD News Channel 11's Natalie Falkenberry joins us in the studio now with details. Natalie? Well, Karen and Abner, Wes Wicker started that company from the ground up as a means to put himself through college at Texas Tech. Now you see this glaze on shelves across Texas. However, a food production company based in Missouri is suing Big Wicks for trademark infringement. And that lawsuit came as a shock to Wes. About four years ago, or close to five years ago, um, I, was, I established a rapport with the COO of that company to try and avoid being sued. Back then, what we now know as Big Wicks used to be named Wickers Texas, a similar title to the Missouri company called Wickers Food Products, which is what led to Wes covering his bases. Oh, I basically gave them a heads up, hey, I'm calling on Wickers TX to differentiate us from y'all. And, uh, and the COO of that company literally said, okay, cool, no problem, we will not sue you. That statement came from Corey Spate, who was a chief operating officer of Wickers Food Products at the time. Spate told Wes that Wickers wouldn't sue his company, but he suggested Wes change the name the next time he redesigned his labels, which is exactly what Wes did. So we went ahead and filed the trademark for Big Wicks, got the artwork changed, and then we rolled that out on our social media. And then about a month after that, we received the lawsuit. We took these concerns to Wickers Food Products' current way. CEO, Jeffrey Jones, to ask why that name change wasn't enough. When you actually have a registered trademark and you send someone something, you, you still have the option at that point, if they make a name change, to put input into that. And when they sent over Big Wicks um, to us, we felt like that is still too close because in a grocery store shelf, where our products are, we're in the same category, which means we're on the same shelf in the condiment uh, aisle. Jones says even then, his company gave Wes multiple extensions to settle on a different name, expressing the concern that some of Wes's bottles were still being sold under the name Wickers Texas. That's when Wickers Food Products says Wes and his legal team went silent. Uh, from August, from a cease and desist, to February, he continued to sell the brand Wickers Texas. When all Wes had to do was take his product, if he was gonna go with Big Wicks, change the labels immediately, and go take those to the stores, which he chose not to do. Both companies tell us they wish this lawsuit could have been avoided. Mediation for this case will begin Monday in Austin. Karen and Abner.